It looks like meat. It sizzles on the grill like meat. It tastes like meat. But it's not meat. It's the Impossible Burger, and it's entirely plant-based. It uses a fraction of the resources needed to get a burger from a cow, and many meat eaters admit they actually prefer it. The vegan burger has four major natural ingredients. Wheat, which provides protein, potato protein, which binds it together, an essence of coconut that gives it its juiciness, and a special ingredient. We're the only one who has this. It has something called heme, H-E-M-E. Turns out heme, which is in the blood of an animal, is also in everything. It's in plants as well. We figured out a way to make it from a naturally occurring source in a plant, and as a result, only the Impossible Burger can have the unique meatiness that you get from a burger from a cow. Tal Ranen, chef and owner of Crossroads Kitchen, a high-end vegan restaurant in Los Angeles, calls it a game changer. It's, you know, changed the way people perceive of uh, what a plant-based burger can be. Even though we're a plant-based restaurant, we really do serve uh, mostly non-vegetarians, so it's been very popular uh, for our non-vegetarian customers. Umami Burger, which specializes in gourmet burgers, is one of the thousands of restaurants now selling the Impossible Burger and says demand for it is increasing. That's good news for Impossible Foods executive David Lee. We founded the company and we're running the company so that we can have an impact that can be seen from outer space. So in addition to the United States, we recently launched in Hong Kong, not just because it's a wonderful place that great foodies love, it's also a place that sets food trends across Asia. The company's new factory in Oklahoma has the capacity to create more than five and a half million Impossible Burgers a month, which means it's not impossible to imagine them appearing on more and more restaurant menus across the United States and around the world. For writer Fiza El Masri, I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.